Heading out of wildcard boxing gym in Los Angeles by way of Kansas. Looks with white trim. He is fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Gilroy. Like 10 scheduled for 10. And who has the most left, Joe, again? Handers. Uh, Ortiz is 1-1-1 one, one, and one against Sal Paz. Ooh. Oh, good heart. He's can be a marvelous boxer. You're exactly correct. I mean, he's really well skilled. A thrill he can infuriate. That was a nice little one-two hook that Robert Guerrero just threw. Right to the body. And just a nice little probing jab, trying to get his range. Ortiz at all. Ortiz out. I, I think it was too long of an apology, and yeah. and then you know, yeah, that's where Victor's good, right there. He threw you know three nice shots, you know, two to the body. And the Feature main event is next. Manny Pacquiao, your Dennis Ugas. Good, solid top 15-ish fighters, and he won going away on all three. Yeah. And you can see Guerrero starts to take control, but then a quick flurry from Ortiz, and it changes around. You got Freddie Roach in one corner. You got Guerrero in the other corner. The father of Robert gets him into the corner. Landing shots. Watch your head. Umbrell did knock out in the fourth round. Yeah. Again, I mean, infuriate. Sometimes you just want. It's like Victor was lighting him up, though, Joe. Lighting him up. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But the things change. It's like in the once. Uh, and if he had st if he had just stayed in boxed, I think he wins that fight going away. You know, you, you know, right there. Good exchange by both guys. They are letting it fly. Well, right? Jab and a combination from Ortiz. Formerly retired, proud veterans going head to head here. And you see what the ghost has left to lightweight. Joey had quality wins. Michael Katsidis, Selchuk Aiden, got down names that might not. Oh, then beat Andre Berto, who we were just talking about. Yeah. And then he was picked to beat Floyd Mayweather's first opponent, where they broke punch records. So Guerrero has been through it, and he's back for more. Fight. He'll, only, he'll inject himself when he has to, and he just warned Victor Ortiz to run right. down five times by Figueroa. Right. He was beat pillar to post. At the end of that fight, he said, it feels like you've got something left. You know, even, digging if, it. Yeah. even if you have a bad fight like he did. That's over the eye now. Yeah. You see it, over it, the right, right eye of Ortiz. It's the right eye of Ortiz. For the break. Box. Final seconds of round number three here in Las Vegas. But, uh, Looks like they got the, you know, I, I think they have, uh, let's see who the cut man is. No, they don't look like they're washed up guys. I mean, they're not fighting like that. I think they're fighting like guys that don't, they, they, they believe in their guys right now. And we'll see who wins this fight. He's a winner. He's away from it. I think you realize all the things you miss. And you miss yep. being part of the scene of a big fight. So they have 52 to 47 body shots also fairly even. For Robert Guerrero. Wait, I just got word, Joe, that, you know, Mark Maxayo was down on all three cards when he took control at a certain point in that fight and uh, until Maxayo really... Guerrero trying to move his head. Get it out of harm's way. The one thing when you see some 22-year-old kid that we've seen earlier throw a seven-punch combination. Right. Takes a lot. I'd love to see that fight. Oh, I'll Imagine the top guys all fighting each other. How about that? I'd like to see Sean fight in. If, uh, this has been a close fight. Larry Hazard is here to help us out with it. Larry, how, right. how do you have... Then Ortiz start to come on. I, I, I gave him round three and four. Eye is also closing up. Yeah, it's pretty much closed. You've got uh, Ortiz's right eye in, in Guerrero's corner can open that up. He's, you know, you got to use a it's a piece of metal going in. It's a real skill. Yeah, you have to you have to be shown how to use it correctly. Battle of wills. Good uppercut by Guerrero right there. It's rolling, uh, you know, Guerrero on the ropes here, putting his shoulders into his chest. Veterans, Guerrero on Ortiz. Slowing down now in the mid-range. Good body Ooh. shot. But round six. Victor Ortiz in the white trunks. Robert Quigger on his shots. I mean, it will come down to, Joe, the level of energy down the stretch. Yeah, exactly. Closed up, but not com not completely. Not completely. And look, you can still see out of the right. slit, you know, and again in that outside direction, moving the blood out of there. It can relieve the swelling there, too. So number might go up. They are comfortable fighting on the inside. Both think they can have success or uh, missed the fight game, missed the action. Uh, funny enough, Victor Ortiz and I shared the stick. Ray Mercer, wow. Oh, yeah, Ray Merciless. Mercer. Hey, Southpaw, he's in that. The, who has what left? And again, Guerrero is four years older than Ortiz. Ortiz able to make some hey, and, and to your point, like, they're going to have to have something happen. He say he's a welterweight in a middleweight's body. It's huge. Young. And step. Ortiz just a little. 58, 56. Slightly ahead. 
spectacular. Figueroa again, just so game. And you know what? In that fight against Omar Figueroa, yeah. he had to be beat. Just like his, his brother Brandon. Yeah, very heavy handed. Drawing Jordan Plant, Larry Hazard, our unofficial score, and upstairs, Kate Abdo, Sean Porter, and by the way, could have a, a big fall. Just talked about Caleb Plant going up against. Yeah. So we will see Tyson Fury go up against Deontay Wilder. Heavyweight champ should be dealt with at some point. He's got to get into the mix as we get into round eight. But it happened very quickly. And I think he needed that time. Yep. He needed. He has to learn some things that he that heavyweight championship of the world. And here, Guerrero and Ortiz, and still three rounds to go. And they're kind of both doing the same thing. Right. You know, I mean, the styles are all know what to expect, and they know what's coming back at them. So that's why the give and take is. Punches landed. There's no separation. 102 to 102. It's a safer fight on the inside. It's, it's actually safer. A lot of people don't realize that the inside can be safer. Ortiz able to. Again. Long amateur career, successful amateur. Exactly. So just a lot of rounds in the. But I, I, I keep contending. He looks better physically. Says he trained harder. Yeah. Body seconds of this round, and this will give the crowd a little bit more excitement, and and you can snap a little yeah. bit more, and there'll be a little more action yeah. from these two. Now they slow down again. There's the burst. Guerrero goes to work. Oh. Crowd is the with this fight. They're giving it their all. They train hard. They've given us a lot of great years, a lot of right. great fun. And even Carlos Castro, Oscar Escondón. Yeah. I mean, we've seen wars here today in Las Vegas. What can he do against Manny Pacquiao? We'll find out next. Combination there by Guerrero. It's kind of hard to tell, but I, I think he has. I think he landed those good shots. And, and here we go. Let's see who wins this round. This may, whoever wins this round, this may be needed to win this fight. Ten to twelve. But, all right. Uh, the, yeah. These guys have really given it their all for their age for to this final round. You know, he's smothering Guerrero's shots, and he gets his shots in. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Like that's, I not, said, that's nothing. Like yeah. I said, it, it probably will come down to this round. Uh, David Sutherland are the judges for this. I just have one quick question. Is it less than optimal? Although they've been in, they've been together for so long, it, it's like they, it's not how it always works when you got a gym full of fighters that are on the card. So I'm saying it's op Ortiz smothers him. Guerrero trying. Both fighters giving it what they had. But he out threw Ortiz by 150 punches, so maybe Thank you, Bob. that was enough.